Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a small Target haul for you with some cute stuff. So I went to Target initially because I heard that they had a really good dry shampoo that I've been hearing a ton of people talk about. And now that I have my perm, I don't want to be washing my hair every single day because I want my perm to last a little longer. Went there, went into the makeup section, got lost, and totally forgot to pick up the dry shampoo. But I did pick up some other cute things that I want to share with you. So I guess I'll start in the makeup part. So I've been watching a lot of makeup tutorials lately. I'm really trying to like try new things with my makeup. I usually buy all of my makeup from the Dollar Tree. I've mentioned this in another video. Just simply because you can get really good products from the Dollar Tree. And of course you're only going to pay a dollar. But sometimes it's nice to try new things that I know will never make an appearance at the Dollar Tree. And one of those things is nude lipstick. I've never worn nude lipstick, but I see it so much in YouTube videos. I always wear bright, vibrant colors because I want my face to kind of show up on camera. I learned a long time ago, which this could be a totally another story time. I don't think I've ever shared this, but when I was younger, I did modeling. And I always learned in modeling that you always wore very bright colors and things like that, especially when you do cat catwalks and things like that, because the lighting can be very off, flashing, dark, those kinds of things. So you want your face to be very heavily makeuped so that it pops. So I've always kind of carried that with me, but sometimes I don't want to wear these bright, vibrant colors, especially in the summer. I would like to have a more nude color, and I've never done nude lipsticks, and I've never seen nude lipstick at the DT. So that was one of the first things I went for. So I found this little bad boy. And it is a matte lipstick by Maybelline, and it is called Nude Embrace. And I really, I love the packaging. And I really think that this is going to be a nice nude. And like I said, guys, I've never done nude before. I'm not sure how my camera is going to pick this up. My camera is kind of new, and I'm just learning. Like, I'm learning new things about my, there we go. So I think this is going to be really, really nice. So I'll swatch it for you. Oh, you're not even really going to see it. It is, let me, yeah, it is very nude. <laughs> so, but I'm really, really excited to use this. It's very creamy. I really like it. I love the packaging. And it's by Maybelline. So I think this is going to be a good investment. And then I thought I would get one more just to try out. And this one is by Revlon, and it's Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. And this one is Embrace, is I think the name of this. I think it's called Embrace. Okay, so this one's Embrace. It's by Revlon. And this one has a wand. So we'll swatch that one, like, right up above it. So this one's a little bit more pink. That one's a little bit more pink, but I think I'm really going to like these. Very light, subtle colors. I think the Maybelline is this one. Yeah, I think the Maybelline's a little bit more nude than the Revlon. I think I'm going to be really happy with these, and I can't wait to, like, try them on. Like, play with them. You know what I mean? Like, who doesn't love to play with makeup? Excuse me, I'm grabbing a little baby wipe to get this off my hand. Otherwise... It'll be everywhere because that's just me. Another product I picked up was this. It's from e.l.f. E.l.f. seems to be one of my favorite brands. I'm very familiar with e.l.f. and NYX. I've never really used Revlon or Maybelline unless I find cheaper products from the Dollar Tree. But e.l.f., definitely something I use on a regular basis. So when I saw this, I thought I would give this a try. This is Illuminating Face Primer for Radiant Glow. I've never had a face primer. So this is something that's going to be new to me, and it says this is a multi-purpose primer, preps your skin, and fills in fine lines so makeup goes on evenly for a long-lasting, luminous finish. Apply to clean skin prior to makeup application. So, and you're supposed to use it with like a blending beauty, a blender, beauty blender. <laughs> I can talk. So I've never done this. I've never like 
primed my face before I put makeup on. And I figured if I'm going to use my e.l.f. acne fighting um, foundation that I did a review on, which I can link down below not too long ago, and I really, really love it. It gives me nice coverage. I thought I would go with another e.l.f. product to prime my face. I've never done that before, and I don't know. I think it'll I'm hoping that it's going to make a difference. I really want to see a difference. So I am going to be doing reviews on my lipstick and the primer and things like that. So I'm super excited to see what this brings about because I've never done like priming my face before makeup. But I want to try new things. So I'm super excited about my lipsticks and my new e.l.f. primer. And then along with it, um, I was figuring, well, if I'm going to start wearing nude um lipsticks and because it is summer and I don't want to wear really heavy makeup in the summer I'd like to look a little bit more natural and have like a glow simple easy makeup for the summer I would pick up a new makeup palette so I picked this one up and this one says a magnify eyeshadow which is eyeshadow contouring palette from Rimmel so I don't think honestly and truly I don't think I've ever owned any makeup from Rimmel so this is like really new for me but the palette is gorgeous it is just beautiful it is a whole bunch of very nude colors we have mattes in with shimmers and it kind of goes from your lightest all the way to your dark I think it's just one of those nice nude typical palettes that you would buy to achieve like a nice nude look but pop your eye if that makes sense. So I'm super excited to try this out as well. And um, it was relatively cheap. I didn't think $9 for this was that bad, especially for being Rimmel. So I was super excited for it and I'm actually very excited to use it. I don't think I'm gonna swatch every single color in here, but I will rub like one or two on my hand just to give you an idea of the colors. I think I'm going to do these two bottom ones because they are just beautiful. So, gorgeous. And then this is a more nude color. Just beautiful. So, I'm super excited to use this. I love the shimmer. I love that it has shimmers and I love that it has mattes. So the next thing I bought that I'm really excited about is this Aveeno Active Naturals Positively Radiant Daily Cleansing Pads. Gently exfoliates to reveal skin's natural radiance with moisture-rich soy extract. So one side of this pad is rough for exfoliating and the other side of the pad is soft for cleansing. So I used one of these last night just to see how I liked it because I don't think this is something that I can review and like show you because you know you got to have water and all that stuff. So these are what the pads look like. They have not a good bit of whatever's on this like the soap, the formula, whatever you want to call it. So this is the soft side and then the exfoliating side has like the little um, rough edge as you can see like there's little beads and stuff on it it worked fantastic it got all of my makeup off it suds up I had like suds on my face rinsed off wonderfully and my skin feels so soft so I was really happy with it and it has a very pleasant fragrance so I was super happy with this I have very sensitive skin and it didn't bother it at all so I was really really happy with this it says it's a new formula and I really needed a really good face cleanser especially in the summer with a sweat and ugh. so I really was really happy with this I've only used it once but it didn't as you can see it didn't break me out I'm not having any issues it didn't leave me red anything like that and it really did suds up and I love the smell and it makes my feel very fresh very clean and my skin is very soft and I didn't have to apply any cream after I used this it stayed soft didn't make it like you ever wash your face with like soap and it makes you feel like your face is gonna crack if you open your mouth I didn't have that feeling at all after I used this so I was super happy with this I also picked up some face masks because I want to have a fun night with my mom and my sister and if I can't do it with them I'll use them on my own but again I want to clean my skin I want to be fresh and clean and radiant as everything says for summer I want to have a fresh summer glow and my skin gets very oily in the summer because of sweats and just the humidity and makeup and the whole thing so I bought myself some masks 
The first one I have here is, I think they're all from, I don't know how to say this name, so if I'm saying it wrong, forgive me, but I think it's Quebella. Quebella, I think is how you say it. This one is for deep cleansing, and it is an aloe vera cream mask. So I picked that one up. Then I picked up this one. Again, it's from Quebella. That's how I hope you say it. This one is repairing, and this is a charcoal mud mask. And then this one here is a revive, a rela blah, 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 blah. I can't talk. This one is a relieving mask, and it is a watermelon peel-off mask. So I got one of each. So if I don't do this with my mom or my sister, and like I do it might just me if I can't get together with them, I figure I have deep cleaning. I have... Um, uh, like repairing and then I have one that's like kind of refreshing so I really can't wait to use these and I'm going to be redoing a review on each one and if I do do this with my mother and my sister then you're going to get three different opinions about each mask all at once so it'll either be me reviewing all three or all of us at once so I'm excited about these so be looking for that review coming your way so that's really all the health and beauty products that I picked up. I went over to the Target Dollar Spot. They pretty much had all the same stuff, but the only thing I noticed was this new washi tape. And it's just fun. It just says, oh yeah, get it girl, over it. Just cute. Just cute washi. So I picked that up. And then another little product that I picked up from the Target Dollar Spot was this. This is just a little um, notebook. What are they calling it? They're calling it a journal, and I just thought it was very fun, and it says Escape the Ordinary, and it has like palm trees on it, and what I'm actually going to be using this for is for my travel journal. So inside, all of the pages are white and blank. There's no lines, nothing in it, so I feel like this is going to be perfect to make into a travel journaling. I'll be able to capture photos. I'll be able to do mixed media. I'll be able to do journaling, the whole thing. I'll be able to do a whole bunch in this, and I am planning on traveling a good bit this summer. We have some really fun trips planned this summer, so I really wanted something where I can keep all of that in one place. So I'm really going to like write a whole page in the beginning of this all about how this is my travel journal for 2017. So I'm really excited to put this together, but that's what I got it for. And it's very tropical in my opinion. So I feel like it's fitting for a travel journal for summer. That's just me. So of course I had to go check out the craft aisle because you know me and they didn't really have anything new except for these and I love them so I had to pick them up and it just says that they are cute icon embellishments and there's 46 pieces in here and they're very tropical and very summery. I see lemons, I see cactuses, I see ice pops, I see pineapples, I see flowers, I think I see a flamingo. They just look adorable, very cute. They have some gold foiling in them. I just think they're going to be adorable. Like, look at this little lemon. Isn't that adorable? I just think that's going to be so stinking cute. I can see a pineapple down here at the bottom. So I'm really excited to get into these. And again, I'll be using these, like, little embellishments in my travel journal. So I really picked it up for that. But you loveys have made me such adorable stuff. So all the cute and adorable things that you guys made me and sent in with the project shares, they're going to be making appearances in my travel journal. And I will be sharing all that with you so make sure you keep your eyes open for all that as well and then the very last thing that I picked up from Target is this the shack I love this movie I actually did a Facebook live doing a review about this movie this movie was life-changing it was awesome it was beautiful I read the shack I'd say almost six to seven years ago. So I read the book in the little teeny tiny paperback that's like this big when it first came out like six years ago. So when I heard that this was coming out to be a movie and it had some pretty big actors in it, for instance, um, one of my favorites is um, Sam Worthington. I was super stoked. And this movie lived up to the book, let me tell you. This movie was fantastic compared to the book. So many pivotal points in the book that changed my life then 
and brought me to tears and cried and made me have a whole new perspective on God and the whole thing. They captured that in this movie. Highly recommend this movie. Even if you're not a spiritual person or maybe you don't believe in God or you're kind of in between, this movie also comes across in a way, if you're just dealing with something in your life, you're dealing with um, unforgiveness and just why do bad things happen to good people kind of thing, this movie will touch your heart. It'll bring you some peace. I just highly recommend, no matter where you are in your life, even if you're not sure about God, even if you're not sure about that aspect, you do not have to be a Christian or love Jesus Christ in order to appreciate this movie. This movie may make you appreciate God and Jesus Christ. It really, really may. <laughs> but even if you don't, I still recommend you watching this movie because everybody deals with why do bad things happen to good people and unforgiveness and things like that. And the way that this movie just brings all of that together is it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. I can talk, talk, talk a lot about that movie. Matter of fact, if you guys would like me to do a full review here on YouTube about The Shack, just leave me some comments down below. I definitely could hook you up with that. So guys, that's it for me today for my Target haul. It was just a small, simple one, but I got some really cute things and I want to do reviews on the lipsticks and the makeups and the masks and all that stuff. And like I said, if you'd like to have a review of The Shack, I definitely could hook you up with that. Love to talk books and movies. But I hope you guys Give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're brand new to my channel. If you are new, hi, my name is Missy and I'm so glad that you're here. And yes, I talk with my hands a lot. <laughs> but anyways, until the next time, continue to do what you love, whatever it may be, crafting, watching movies, makeup, body positive, whatever it is, always do what you love. Until the next video, take care of you and I will be seeing you soon. Bye guys. Hey, no, no, no.